On this Monday, the 21st of January, inside a dimly lit Broome County Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton, New York, St. John's broadcaster Brian Rogers with head coach Keith McCambridge. Keith, this lengthy road trip continues here on this Monday evening against the Senators, a team that beat you 4-2 in a highly spirited game on New Year's Eve. But you're coming off an emotional win in Norfolk. And how do you feel your team's playing so far two games in? Well, I thought, uh, you know, obviously to get three out of four points, you know, we, we like where we're heading in that direction. I thought the games in Norfolk, the uh, first game, uh, I liked our start. I thought as the game wore on, the, uh, they really got to their forecheck. We had a real hard time getting pucks back in our defensive zone coverage. I thought, uh, you know, our guys in the back end for that lineup really struggled with some of the pressure they had, some of our inexperience on the back end for that game. Uh, I felt really came to the uh, to the forefront. Uh, worked through that game. Uh, disappointed that we weren't able to get the two points in the shootout. Uh, into the next night, uh, the addition of uh, Meech on the back uh, on the back end. Obviously, Arsini there too. Some veteran leadership on the back end, and the guys come back from Winnipeg. Uh, gave us uh, gave us more of a balanced lineup. A little bit more. Uh, uh, ability on the back end to kind of sustain uh, some pressure against you. So I thought that was a better area of our of our game. I thought our details, our uh, our commitment to areas of the ice, uh, to get pucks deep, to get in on the forecheck, put pucks on the net, uh, was better at times. So at the end of the day, getting the two points that second game was uh, was definitely something that uh, to build off the one point from the first night. So uh, two decent games like the second game better. Uh, you know, you look, you roll into here. Uh, I really thought the game um, in this building last time before Christmas was one of those games you look as a uh, as a head coach when you're always looking to see when your team is starting to get uh, a little transition, starting to get some traction. Uh, big emotional win that night before against Syracuse. Came in here and I thought we played a really strong game, Raj. I thought mm -hmm. we uh, we did a lot of good things. Um, again, uh, referring back to that game, watched the tape again the last couple of days here uh, and we were good. But at the end of the day, uh, what came out of that game is we just ran out of gas. We looked like it was the end of a uh, end of the front half of that long road trip at Christmas time. Uh, didn't have it in our legs. Didn't have it against a very good team here in Binghamton that continues to be a good team with the call ups that they have in the National League. So uh, you're always looking for that time when your team is starting to turn the corner. We faced injuries. Uh, we faced call ups uh, now during that short period with the, with the training camp in Winnipeg, and now the transition of those uh, those guys back. So. Uh, it's been one of those seasons to date where there's a lot of ebb and flow where you're not sure what you're going to have every night, missing key guys, but uh, we're looking now to see if we can build again off the uh, off the win there in Norfolk. Are you pretty well set now with what you'll have, do you believe, in your heart to down the stretch that now your team can really start to focus, you can have your uh, four set lines, your defensive pairing and your net minding? Well, I, I can never say at this level of the American League that we're going to be set, as you know. It's, uh, you, we're going to have call-ups. I really think well, yeah. this 48-game schedule in the NHL there is going to be, unfortunately, on the NHL side for those players, there is going to be a ton of interest. It just happens with every game there right now is a playoff game for those guys, so the intensity is so heightened at that level. Uh, you're going to have a lot of movement uh, between AHL clubs and NHL clubs, so good for our guys because that's what it's about. they got to make sure they're getting chances. They want to play in the uh, in the National League, so uh, hopefully we can, at best, you know, get our, our lineup for good periods of time to be the same, and what I mean by that also is with the call-ups, now you're having pieces that we haven't had all year. Mm -hmm. You're having possibly Hunter Trombley back in the lineup, possibly uh, Jason King back in the lineup. Two guys that uh, you know offensively can help, can play a solid two-way game. Ivan Telegan uh, now again out with injury here, so uh, you know you look to see if you can at least have a little bit more continuity out of guys that have been here from day one during the season. Mark Dukanich also, uh, you know, so hoping that you can have your core group. That in the summertime, when you look at what you might have during the season what your AHL lineup is going to look like against a regular season AHL lineup without the lockout uh, taking place, then uh, you hope for a better balance, uh, a better even playing field. There you go. I step bands, ask the question, and you'll get the answer from the head coach. Line up the same tonight against Bingo as it was in your win on Saturday in Norfolk? It'll stay the same, yes. So, for head coach Keith McCambridge inside the Broome County Veterans Memorial Arena, I'm Brian Rogers for Ice Caps 360. Enjoy tonight's game, everyone, and have a great day. And by the way, hon, I love you. Happy anniversary. 35 years. You're going to heaven.